Basic instincts, urges, dominated by every breath and every moment, primal and unsophisticated. Good. Beasts can be easier to affect than other sentients, but you must bridge the gap between what distinguishes us and them. You feel its consciousness, yes, like a low rumble before the storm. Use the force to create a barrier around it, it with care and subtlety. <laughs> you came close, and you have potential. With practice, you can make any animal passive and pliable. But the cage around their perceptions is a fragile thing. 
Many things can break its hold. Violence, especially. With the Force, anything is possible. But that is the end of the lesson for now.
stranger. I am returning to the Mandalorian camp now. I won't forget this. I have only one request. Please, don't mention this incident to anyone.
and it was keeping its eye on emissions to a minimum. Our sensors almost didn't pick it up. Just this corpse here. Looks like a scout. It's pretty green, too. The bull walked right into a group of Canucks and got torn apart. He can't have been the only one crawling around here. If there's more, we need to take them out. You up for some action? Can't let them find the camp, if that's what they're looking for. We need to track them down and make sure their trip here is real short. There's more of these scouts in the jungle. There's many paths and I don't want them to slip by. If we split up, we should be able to find their scouts, if you're up for it. I'm going to take up a position to the east. You go west. I'll make sure none of them get past me. On. We got swarmed by those little beasts. I think they're called Canucks. I hope this mission is worth it to the Colonel. If not, wait, did you hear that? That's her! Get her! Yeah? Set the staging camp up here. This jungle just never ends. Lieutenant, two of our scout patrols haven't reported back. Do more? Nothing is worth this. More beasts! Everyone, attack! My life is yours.
I found more of their scouts, but they started shooting as soon as they saw me. I heard blaster rifle fire coming from deeper in the jungle. You find anything? Surprised they wouldn't talk to you. I thought their grudge was only with Mandalorians. Find out anything useful from them? Colonel, huh? Could be Colonel Tobin. Tobin is General Vaklu's personal cath hound. If he's on your trail, you might want to steer clear of Onderon. I'm not surprised. He was probably acting on orders from Vaklu. If so, you've made some dangerous enemies. General Vaklu is the cousin of Queen Talia. He's also in charge of the Onderon military. He led the Onderon resistance when we occupied their world during the Mandalorian Wars. He was a worthy foe. Maybe more than a match for you. Mandalore needs to know about the scouts. I'll let him know your role in dealing with them. They're under on military, although they were trying to be secret about it. I've got a feeling you're going to need all the help you can get. One last thing about the battle circle. Your actions have proven you worthy of facing our best in the circle. Perhaps we can face each other there. See you at camp. My life is yours.
You have enough no, no. honor to face a champion of a previous day. Kelborn, what are your terms? Swords only. No items or the Jedi's force. And no sword of the Jedi's choosing. Just a simple long blade. Kelborn chooses to fight with the blade. You may fight with fist, foot, and the blade provided. No using the force or any other item.
The Jedi is the clear and honorable victor. You have defeated the most worthy of us. You walk away the champion of the battle circle this day. We will not forget your deeds, or the honor you have earned this day. Yes.
What is it? My... Life is yours. Ready? I hear you. How may I serve? You defeated Braylor in the battle circle. Either you're very lucky, or you're a lot tougher than you look. Kelborn said you dispatched some covert military scouts in the jungle with him. He spoke highly of your work. Zuka told me you helped out with some repairs around the base. I was hoping you'd prove yourself more with a lightsaber, but it's certainly a great help. The gate guard said you managed to kill a Zakik. Those are tough beasts, Jedi. You've earned some respect around here. Zarga told me that you returned one of our sheep to the herd. You have gained some small prestige by helping Kumas. How many Kanoks did you have to kill to find those parts for Zuka? That was a tremendous help. I won't forget it. You've made quite a reputation around here. You did better than I thought you could. I was planning on heading to Isis tomorrow, but I'll move up the timetable and take you now. You won't be able to get to the Ebon Hawk from the city. If you need to grab anything from your ship, I'd do it now. I know, it made quite a racket. Good work. That's to be expected. They don't really like it when someone makes loud noise in their territory. It wouldn't be much of a test if all you had to do was take a hike through the jungle, now would it? You're alive, in one piece, and learn something about the beasts of the jungle. Are you ready to go to Isis yet? I'm going to talk with Zuka and have him start a shuttle flight check. After that, we'll head out. 
How are the port stabilizers? They check out Mandalore. All systems are green. Good. I want the shuttle bound for Onderon within the hour. What do you want? Is all in readiness? <laughs> it is. Like I promised. Why? You want to back out now? My only concerns are for the one you escort to Onderon, Mandalorian. Would you do any less for one of your clan? Don't pretend to understand us. We Mandalorians are a breed apart. If by apart you mean scattered, broken, and lost, then yes, you are correct. Not for long. Soon the Mandalorians will be strong again, united as one clan under one banner. Mine. Ah, yes. The Great Crusade. After the first one was ended by Revan and the Jedi. Such a defeat was merciful, an echo of the end, when your ships were in flames, crushed in the grip of Malachor V. But I do not need to remind you of such things. I was at Malachor V, and I remember how many Jedi died to stop us there. And no matter how many dead orbit that planet, the Mandalorians still live. Clan Ordo still lives. See Kex there? He was serving on Nar Shaddai's muscle for the huts. Kelborn was a scout for the Duros on Frontier Worlds. I brought them here, gave them a purpose. This galaxy will be ours again, I promise you. That is the future. Indeed. The future is always in motion. It is a difficult thing to see. Perhaps there will be no New Age Mandalore, no great Mandalorian crusade. Perhaps your people fought their last battle at Malachor V, and you have been dying ever since, a quiet death that will last centuries. And perhaps all that remains will be what I see before me. A man, wounded by a Jedi, encased in a Mandalorian shell, hunted by the thought of being the last of the Mandalorians. You've got some guts talking to me like that. You think your age or your Jedi whelp are going to keep you safe from me? No, Mandalore. You are wrong. I hope that it is you who will keep the one I travel with safe. You are loyal, and you have served many masters, even when they abandoned you. Do you wonder where he wanders now, Mandalore? Why he gave you your orders, then abandoned you at the edge of the galaxy? How do you know that? I know many things, and I can answer the question that burns within your shell, Mandalore. But there is a price. You must keep the one I travel with safe. She is important to me, more important than anything. Show the same loyalty you have shown in the past, Mandalore. If there is a Mandalorian crusade, let it be for something that will carry your people's memory into the future. So when the time comes when there are no more Mandalorians, then at least their honor will remain. The one I travel with has walked your same path. And I ask that when the end comes, that you remember that kinship, even if it seems there is nothing else left. Forget the Jedi. Keep your eyes on her. Mm, one, two, three. Mandalorians, we've got company. Stealth targets have breached our perimeter. Wait a moment. I sense there is a disturbance in the camp. Our enemy has tracked us here. I did not expect them so soon. How did they get here, I wonder? Regardless, we must eliminate them all. None of them can escape. Our whereabouts must remain a secret. Let us join the battle. Our allies will need our help.
robots with stealth generators, did you? Vaklu saying that the Republic ship attacked first? That's madness! Unfortunately, lie or not, it's a madness people will believe. The timing of this is atrocious. A space battle above our skies? So many of our fighters lost? Curiously, only Tobin's men were involved in that battle. That shooter! Strong word, Your Majesty. But there is no good time for news like this. I recommend we continue with our plan. But won't that bring even more followers to Vaklu's side? Increasing his power? For a time, perhaps. But we both know he's not the true threat. It's his unseen support from the shadows that we must drag out into the light. Then, and only then, can we strike. I fear by then it will be too late. Here we are. The city of Isis. It's been shut down tight for months now. General Vaklu is close to declaring martial law. We won't be able to travel too far in the city. Fortunately, I have a friend in this quarter of the city. He's a doctor by the name of Dagon Ghent. His office is on the other side of the market square. It might be best if you do the talking around here. The Andoronians have a mixed view of Mandalorians after we conquered their world. Thank <laughs> you. 